do you not find that social media is one of the most draining things ever just i've just been going through so much i wasn't speaking to god i wasn't speaking to jesus i wasn't speaking to the holy spirit none of that was happening honey hi guys <laughs> i've been gone for a while and this is why now i know this is nowhere near my normal setup i haven't got a mic there's so much echo there's no back nothing but um i couldn't continue to put off filming and i was gonna come up with like a thousand and seven different excuses as to why i couldn't film but i've got my vlog camera so this is not even my normal dslr but i've got my vlog camera and i thought you know what courts sit down and talk to your friends like you used to sorry the view, um, if y'all could see the viewfinder is on top of this camera so if you see me speaking it seems like above you it's because i'm looking at the viewfinder but i'm gonna, I'm gonna try and look at the lens i've been out of this game for a long time so i don't know if i can do it but you know bear with me or whatever so hi guys <laughs> um this isn't awkward <laughs> if you're new to my channel hi I'm calling Daniela. We've grown significantly since I probably did a sit down and talk with you. So hello, thank you for joining my family. And because you guys are all my family, new subscribers and old, I... Now, I know this is nowhere near my normal setup. I haven't got a mic, there's so much echo, there's no back, nothing, but um, I couldn't continue to put off filming and I was gonna come up with like a thousand and seven different excuses as to why I couldn't film but I've got my vlog camera so this is not even my normal DSLR but I've got my vlog camera and I thought you know what court sit down and talk to your friends like you used to sorry the view, um, if y'all could see the viewfinder is on top of this camera so if you see me speaking it seems like above you it's because i'm looking at the viewfinder but i'm gonna i'm gonna try and look at the lens i've been out of this game for a long time so i don't know if i can do it but you know bear with me or whatever so hi guys <laughs> um this isn't awkward <laughs> if you're new to my channel hi i'm calling daniela we've grown significantly since i probably did a sit down and talk with you um, so hello, thank you for joining my family and because you guys are all my family, new subscribers and old, I owe you guys an explanation as to where I was, what's been going on. Now if you follow me on Twitter, even though I haven't been posting on YouTube, I have been posting on Twitter, um, I have been very all over the place with my emotions. I, my emotions have been like all over the place recently and it kind of started, obviously I finished um, uni around June and I stayed in uni for about a week and then I came back to London. And in the beginning of summer, I was like, oh, okay, I'm gonna give myself like two weeks to rest or whatever, um, you know, rest up from the year. If you guys know, I go to the University of Cambridge and the workload is, intense to say the least so obviously i just come out of exam season i had so much built up anxiety and stress from exam season that i was like you know what courts take a rest before you do your normal summer thing right so i take my rest for two weeks and then i decided okay you know what courts you, you ain't the type to be idle <laughs> so go back to work so um if you guys don't know i work in business development and marketing for a company called all shades covered aaa check them out um i've worked there for about a year actually uh, just over a year now um and it's been an amazing experience and i love working there and i still work there it's, it sounds like i'm about to say i'm leaving i'm not um i still work there i absolutely love it and that's the job i do now because i obviously work part-time i work as a contractor um because of that 
my I don't have to work five days a week I can work four days a week and my job is very um, understanding of the fact that I blog I have other stuff that I do I'm obviously um, a public speaker as well and I my rotum my rotum my schedule really really does bounce here and there so you know this year i decided i'm gonna go and work probably the least amount of time i've worked before which was three days a week so i work three days a week nine to five and then any overtime or any time that i'm needed at work and the reason why i still work and i'm not a full-time blogger while it's summertime is because i don't know if i could commit to this full time sorry it got really dark um i don't know if i could commit to something like this full time it be my everyday job because the internet, social media is so much and sometimes I like the routine of knowing that I'm going to work and it's not about taking pictures, it's not about recording videos and editing, I do like numbers you know i work with operations and i make plans and i do things like this and that's a part of me which i love you know you guys know i study sociology I, there's a part of me which loves that academic side or that that i don't know how to explain it but that more y'all know what i'm trying to say but anyway there's a part of me who likes that and i feel like it that's a part of me which blogging doesn't expand or doesn't um utilize as much as i would like for it to be utilized and so working part-time really helps out and on top of it obviously it's a secure and um constant reliable source of income for me but yeah i mean i'm blessed to have that job and so i decided to go back to work three days a week and then do blogging on the side and in the beginning of summer i don't know if you guys saw but my upload schedule became more frequent. I, I posted every day for seven days. Shout out to all y'all who rolled with me during that period because that was hard. But I was posting seven times a week, four times a week, three times a week, two times a week. And then all of a sudden I stopped making videos. And the time I, the time I stopped making videos was when all of this stuff blew up on social media about me being at um, the University of Cambridge. Now, I don't know if you guys saw wow i basically um made some tweets L listen you guys have seen it by now i know made some tweets they blew up on twitter and suddenly i was on you know daily mail metro team vogue um cosmopolitan buzzfeed and then i ended up on channel four <laughs> that came that was just a, a surprise opportunity um and it obviously probed me to think a lot more about me and me being at an elite university and me as a person to be honest it showed me parts of me which were like you know what i feel like i'm being pushed into a new a new place into a new not necessarily a new purpose and purpose will always be the same but a new aspect of me which i never ever would have thought would have been open to me and because all of that came rushing at me at once i was like okay let me handle all of this i handled all of the tv stuff i handled all of the internet stuff well to the best of my ability but one thing that i want to let you guys know which maybe you'll be like what to is i'm not a big social media person now when i say that i don't mean i don't have a big following i know i have a big following i mean you following me we got we got some people over here and as much as i post youtube videos and i'm on twitter and i'm on instagram and stuff like that I was forced to be committed to social media for the first time ever. Now you guys know I like the flexibility of social media because I can be in and out, I can say what I've got to say and just pop out real quick, interact with who I want to interact with, pop out real quick and then live my real life. But all of a sudden my real life was the internet and when that happens that's actually quite a dangerous place to be and I don't know if anybody else who's a, um, maybe you're a social media content manager, maybe you are a blogger or whoever Ever. do you not find that social media is one of the most draining things ever and i don't know what it is that's draining about it now don't get me wrong i love social media i wouldn't have probably 70 percent of the opportunities that i have if it wasn't for me being on social media at the same time I, I mean, before I started blogging, right, my Snapchat, ask anybody who really knows me in real life, especially before I started social media, I could go a whole, even two days without ever looking at my phone. My phone was just there, literally, if you wanted to call me, if you wanted to text me, if you needed to WhatsApp me, for me to listen to music and for me to have an alarm and for me to play games. And now it's 
my whole life is on my phone and I mean that's not a bad thing like I don't want to paint it bad and boohoo feel sorry for me it's not a bad thing at all but it was a time where like I take mini breaks from social media as long as I can take a two-day break from social media I'll be good for some time but that period in my life this summer was every day every hour of the day I had to be on social media because people were emailing me and people were DMing me and people were doing this and in order for me to get the ball rolling I constantly had to be available to certain people I love serving you guys I love when we can talk and I can help you I love that but there's another part of social media when people need to have access to you for work purposes and that was all that was happening at that period in time and I don't want to sound ungrateful that is such a blessing you know it I mean I've only been doing this for a year and a half and now through this platform I have had so many opportunities I have made money I have met so many people who I never would have been able to meet otherwise you know this this is not a negative thing however all of that stuff takes orchestration and for the first time in my life, I had to be committed to social media and I was on it. And because of how busy I was, it's not that I wasn't posting videos because I was drained. I was so busy with being booked to speak here, being booked to go to this interview. Let's have this phone interview. Let's film this documentary. Let's do this, 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 and this. And at the same time, I'm working a job. I work three days a week. Um, and then a lot of stuff happened in my family, which I don't really want to get into, but a lot of stuff has been happening in my family, my own personal life, um, like proper personal life that has left me very just, I've just been going through so much and it's hard because I also realized during this season that I don't really have anybody that I offload to, which leads me to my next point. My guys i have backslidden so far i'm basically at i just i just slid off because i was so busy in, in the beginning it turned to i was busy um you know i was too busy to read my bible so i'll just you know quickly open my bible at read verse of the day and bounce that's how bad it was i was too busy to pray and then all of a sudden i couldn't pray like i used to pray and i had backed in so much that even with all this popularity and all of this attention which obviously i you guys know me i don't i don't business with all of them like but all oh, so much hype around you because eventually that hype will fade eventually i will be left down to the people who were riding with me originally do you get what i mean and i I'm, that's the way the world works that's the way social media works you got your 15 minutes of fame and then they hop on to someone else um, I'm just very happy that I got the opportunity to make a statement and open up a discussion which needed to be had about young black people in um, university and I'll link any article that I find about it down below so that you guys can kind of get up to speed with what it is I was saying at the same time after all of that when I still go to bed because I was managing to actually sleep when I do go back to bed I still felt empty because the one thing that I hold so close to my heart, the one person that I tell everything to and who actually counsels me, I wasn't speaking to God. I wasn't speaking to Jesus. I wasn't speaking to the Holy Spirit. None of that was happening, honey, because I just didn't have time. And that's a big problem, in my opinion, for my life. That's a huge problem because that's what keeps me sane. Like. And I literally, at some point, I felt like I'm going crazy. My, I felt like my anxiety had come back 10 times harder. I started to feel like I was becoming depressed to the point where when I just wake up, I want the day to end. And on the outside, it looks like you have everything. Everything is going right for you. And to be honest, if you had asked me a year ago, what would I want my life to be like in a year? It would be like what it is now. Like I'd be like, oh yeah, I wanna be able to do certain things. I wanna be able to go certain places. I wanna be able to buy this for myself. I wanna be able to buy this for my mom. I wanna be able to, you know, I don't know, say I have accomplished this much. And I have done all of that by the grace of God and I am so thankful about that. But it just puts into perspective now that everything I wanted wasn't necessarily everything I needed. Everything I wanted wasn't necessarily everything that was going to fill me. That was not everything that was going to satisfy me. And at the end of this period where it seems like I had it all, really and truly I had nothing because it just felt like I was so drained. And you know when people ask you to come, you know, come and speak in, it's like I have to go into, and pour into more people. And when I go to events, it's not like I'm just there. I'm not one of them YouTubers you see it, you say hi, hey, hey, hi, hi, hi. 
and then they walk off. That's not me. I'm not that sort of person. If I meet you, I pour into you. And the reason why I do that is because when I see people on the internet, you guys see me and you guys love me hard. And I don't, I don't see you guys. Do you get what I mean? I can't see you through the camera. I can't see you while I'm editing and stuff like that. So when I finally connect with you in person, it's like, oh my God, I want you to feel the love that I haven't been able to show you through the internet. You know, you can sit here and you can hear my words and stuff, but I want to hug you and I want to like, put life into your dreams and when you guys tell me i want to start a youtube channel i want to start this charity i want to start this organization you know i'm going to uni i'm about to start my gcse's i'm about to start my a levels courtney what should i do i want you to be inspired and i want you to feel loved when you leave and so when i go to events and stuff like that i pour into each individual person so when i get called up and it's like oh courts come and speak here i'm like I'm tired, I'm drained, and I don't want to go places and just, you know, not give my all because you call me on a bad day. Because for some of you, catching me at that one event is the only time you're ever going to meet me. So I might as well make it what it is it should be for you. And I love that. That's, that's not a burden for me. But I was feeling so burdened at that time because I wasn't being filled the way I usually was. I wasn't reading the Bible. Put what Bible, honey? No. The Bible was sitting on my thing collecting dust. I will pick it up sometimes to clean under it, but no, I wasn't reading it. And you know, I, I wasn't journaling like I used to. I wasn't sitting down and actually thinking and taking a breather. And everything I was doing was done in a rush. As in, I would shower, pat, 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 wash, not even lotion, lotion my ankles, lotion my elbows. Sometimes that even happened if I'm wearing long sleeve, no elbows were getting creamed. And just, you know, put, throw on a wig that I didn't even comb because I wasn't even combing my hair. Like as in, I don't think you guys realize how much I dropped off because I was a shambles. I wouldn't comb my wig. I was just wearing that same wavy peerless hair, which really held me down because it just needed a bit and I was done legit um and i wasn't i mean i had the same k rose under my wig for like two months and that wasn't me that's not how i am and because i was letting everything else overwhelm me i was letting my blessings dictate me when in true fact those were just blessings but they stemmed from me does that make sense and that's a big that was a big problem that was my biggest issue so it meant i couldn't pick up my camera my camera was there it was fully charged my tripod was up i kept my lights up i kept my ring light up but the truth is especially for you guys who ask me how do i get motivated how do i get motivated corny motivate me if you don't want it if you don't want to do it it's not going to happen i can let you know set your alarm for six you'll sleep through it i can let you know oh just always make sure that your notepad is out always make sure that your um, bible is not in your drawers on your um bedside table so you always see it you know out of sight out of mind those quirky words are always great but if you don't want to read your bible it will sit on your drawer for ages and you won't read it just if i don't want it i'm not going to do it and that the desire in me was going away and I've, i'm currently not in any space that you guys have ever seen i'm not in uni i'm not in my house i am in budapest and the reason why i'm in budapest is because i needed a break oh my gosh i needed a serious break um from everything to rejuvenate because this was not the courtney you know at the end of the summer i was realizing you know what i have done a lot of stuff i have accomplished a lot of things people see me and they think wow you're that girl from town yeah i am and i i should be gassed by that do you know i'm actually like, pew, pew, pew. and i am proud of myself but this is not necessarily the courtney that I wanted to be out there is something still missing from me and you know I can be bubbly I can make you laugh I can come and I can you know give you the a great pep talk and I can be on channel 4 and I can write articles and I was asked to blog for the metro I can do that but if I am not happy within me, am I really the person who I want to be? I'm just doing the things which I wanted to do. I'm not the person who I wanted to be. And I want to be the person I want to be. So you know what? This is not going to take long. Um, I'm only here for four, four more days. I came yesterday, so I'm going to be here for four more days. And I know by the end, because I'm expecting it on God. I'm ex I am expecting it of God because I'm about to fulfill um, my part of the deal. So I know he's about to do his part. But in this short amount of time, I am about to be the person or even start becoming the person who I wanted to be. Not necessarily do the things I wanted to do because God has shown me you can do the things you want to do and not be the person that you want to be. So I need to be the person that I want to be and he gonna do it for me i'm looking that way because that's where my book said that's where my journal at so i'm about to go and read up on stuff i think i might vlog this experience but you won't see the vlog till after when i'm back in london 
um i was vlogging where's the footage on my hard drive who's gonna ed edit it i don't know but um i'm gonna try and get some stuff out for you guys um so i did vlog i mean i did something but i'm gonna record some videos and stuff like that so sorry if the setup is not the way you wanted it to be no glitz and glam over here boy yeah guys i love you all i'm back but this is about to be a journey of rediscovery but yeah i love you guys stay blessed um thank you for sticking around thank you for loving me harder than i probably even loved myself at the time and you guys are we gonna be talking to each other honey we gonna be talking okay i'm sorry i was gone for a long time but don't worry i'm coming back strong i went through what i went through so i could bless you but yeah um i will talk to you all later take care of yourselves mwah, 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 mwah.